Tonight, you find me in the heart of Liverpool city centre for the first episode of the Haunted Hotel series. And tonight we head to a super famous hotel. This place has been in the news, the media for hundreds of years. This is the Adelphi Hotel in Liverpool. This place has had hundreds of deaths, murders, suicides, and accidental deaths over a hundred since 1851 and we're still finding out more from the records so there's an area in the hotel that's most active and that is the third floor and we just happened to manage to secure a room on the third floor which I'm super excited about but there's so much more going on in this hotel not only the hauntings in the rooms but there's rituals taking place underneath the hotel in a Masonic lodge Brothers have been left terrified after filming a ghost at the Adelphi Hotel. So, as I was sat here wondering what I've got myself into, I took a look on Google and came up with hundreds of articles. A lot of weird stuff is going on in this hotel, including accidental deaths in abundance. Only last year, a poor girl was killed via a wardrobe inside her room. There's been drownings, there's been suicides, you name it, this place has seen it. And that's why we are here today. This is episode one of the Haunted Hotel series. Oh, well, there it is in all its glory. You boys ready to go inside? Yeah. Yeah, oh, you yeah. sure? Oh, yeah. This I'm is really the Britannia a Delphi hotel that we have read so much about. Let's go and see if it really is as haunted as they say it is. I think so. It's a, it's a job. There's a guy over there. Yeah, look at this rumbling. So, what you didn't see is they were gonna put us on the sixth floor. I asked them if we can go on the third floor, which is reportedly the most haunted. So they put us on the third floor. <laughs> so here we are, the most haunted floor in the hotel. Do you know what? You know, I've got to say, over the past two years, over the past two years, boys, I've just got to say this before we go to our room, I, I discovered a film back in 2021, and I must have watched it about five, six times, and it actually has three different endings, as I found out. Um, it's called Room 1408, or something like that. It's a horror movie. Yeah. You put it down below. And it starts just like this, with a ghost hunter who goes around haunted hotels and gives them a scale on one to ten about how haunted, haunted they are. And you know what happens in that movie, if you've seen all three endings. But this is how it starts, where they walk towards the room and he gets warned not to. And we got warned not to stay on the third floor. Yes, we did. But what do we do anywhere? Well, obviously, you know, and that's what he did. He didn't believe it. I don't necessarily believe this is crazy haunted, well, but we're going to find out Can tonight. we start just noting? This carpet is hyper disorientating. Yeah. It's like, it already just kind of gives you a weird vibe being in here. What number are we? 375. 375. The lights are flickering almost. I have a feeling we're going to walk miles to find a room. 382. 381. Alright, we'll go in the right way. Yeah, these ones aren't too bad, these are not doing it. Alright, here we are. Oh, they open outwards. Oh wow, actually, it's really nice. It's big, it's, it's actually, it's a Chesterfield. It is just like that movie. This is. Oh crap. It's a green one, hold on, just like you want. Nah, this is not the one I wanted. It's nice, but it's not my kind of Chesterfield. It's a nice looking Chesterfield though. The door doesn't shut behind us, by the way. Oh, uh, 
Oh man, that is a fancy bathroom. Oh. Just old school. Jeez, you know this is not. You know what? Considering, considering the size of this place and the reputation it holds, we only paid ninety ninety six pound for this room for all three of us, which I think is is really good. Uh, but we'll uh, we'll get more into the the haunted value for money soon. Okay, so I've done some history, I've done some digging. Um, you know, historically documented, it is haunted, but we are here to see, I'm here to give it a bit of a scale. Uh, this is episode one of the Haunted Hotel UK tour, and uh, we're gonna start right here in this room. Um, I, being an idiot that I am, have forgotten to bring my paranormal box. I know, that means no music box, no couple of bits, important bits, but I do tend to carry some bulkier stuff and extras in my backpack. So this is what we're working with tonight. We do have a Polaroid camera with about four or five shots left in it. The EMF trip rope, Hexcom, flashlight, uh, and EVP recorder. Now, luckily, Andrew has bits. He's got an Alice box, REM pod, spirit box, cat ball, EVP, EVP recorded at a K2 meter. So luckily, we got we got lucky there. Um, let's pull out the spirit box, EVP recorder, and K2 meter, and figure out if the room we are staying in is haunted. We are gathered here today <laughs> on an extraordinary adventure of haunted hotel seeking. Um, I mean, boys, what do you reckon we crack open first? Well, you know that they do say that on the third floor there, as you said, was a ghost named George that appears at the foot of your bed. Now, maybe if we're here, George knows we're looking for him. He could be potentially waiting for us to fall asleep, which we're not going to do. Yeah. But his energy could still be present in the room. Why don't we set up some uh, EMF detecting devices to start? Yeah. As well as make some baseline contacts through maybe two minutes of spirit box just to see okay. the perception. Is no, I'm, I'm down for that. I think yeah. it's a good idea. All right. but, yeah. um, I think it's a, a good idea that maybe towards the end of this, we, if we don't hear from George, we pretend to be asleep. Set all the cameras up, pretend to be asleep. See if we can lure him, lure him in. Well, I'll put a cat ball on the end of the bed. And I start. will drape this along the beds. Trying to grab, trying to grab this end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's good, that's good. So, just go straight, watch so you I'll just put a fresh on. battery in this as well, because remember when we took, where we took it the other day, yeah. and it yeah. wasn't working. How come we didn't that way? Yeah, a fresh battery, just need new batteries, yeah. Oh, right, so it's brand new batteries in that. Now these are, these little crystals, what they look like, the individual uh, EMF detectors. So just like with the uh, K2 meter, every one of them is an individual. So the idea is, yes, if spirit crosses it, it'll set it off. But the main focus point of this device is if a spirit, for example, comes through the wall and dashes this way, we can track its movement, right. which, you know, Pretty, okay. pretty fun. Pretty good. Pretty cool as well. Yeah. It's like some next level Ghostbusters stuff. Right. Um, in the meantime, let's get a baseline spirit box just to see what radio signals like. So will, yeah, will, okay. the, will the lights not fit the K2 meter? No. No. So you, you can normally bang them and they'll go off. So, so. so, you, so you'll have blue. It goes purple, blue. Yellow, red, orange, you know. I think red is the strongest. Oh, your K2 meter was blipping then? All right. Right, get you, right, put your phones over here and put mine over here. Put your phones over there. Stick, stick the phone next to that. Limited edition Toys R Us Japan green crystal Game Boy. <laughs> you know, no, do you know the funniest thing, right? I gave this to my eldest. I said to me, I'll play on that. You know, the first thing he asked me, 
How do you connect it to the internet? Oh no. <laughs> Game yeah. Yeah. Kids nowadays have no idea what it was like. Feel it off. Yeah, I can't even play it in the dark. <laughs> That's a whole school. I need a yeah, light to play it. The light that you put in the side. Yeah, yeah I do. Over. Yeah. Well, anyway, right. Enough of the Game Boy. Right. right let's yeah. let's get a baseline on this spirit let's box. Oh, I will say this before we finish. So before we start this, we could do scrying in the mirror here. Yeah. Right. Well, let's start by calling out for George then. Okay. George. Hate. Hey. Sorry, hey. George. We're looking for you. We, we heard that you wanted to come and stand in people's bedrooms. Uh, we mean you no harm, but we'd love to hear from you. Oh, Something about rape? I said we need something. James, do me a favor. Oh, that's you. Shadow. I saw the shadow, shadow. shadow move and I was like, I, was, what? I didn't know what was going on, but I just noticed, yeah, that the red lights on that went off and now they're just. Yeah, off. yeah, so they'll. D they turn on and off depending on the light, depending on movement. Wow. It's, yeah, it's nothing to do with anything else. Come on, George. Do you want to stand at the foot of our bed tonight? If so, tell us to go to sleep. It's not like that, there's hundreds of them. Something like that, or I hunted them. Okay. Hunted them or hundreds of them. Who is this? This is not. Alright. He's here. He's here. Who's here? Say his name. Come on. Say his name. Who's here? Almost like George. Say it clear. Who's here? Get in bed. Did you hear that? Yeah. They said get in bed, bro. I did hear that, but I, I didn't quite concentrate on it properly because I was hearing knocking. Knocking? Yeah, I heard knocking from somewhere, but obviously we don't know if... I we don't. We, no, no I that heard. was my camera. That was my camera. Okay. We don't know if there's someone above us or below us. That's the issue we've got with, with the knocking. Okay, well that's fine. I'm positive it's like get in bed. Don't yeah, I, I, heard that. I, I heard. I heard briefly. I didn't. Wasn't concentrating. So I was hearing bangs. Right. Listen. If you want us to get in bed, say the words bed. Will you rest? Will you rest? Will you rest? It said, will you rest? Will you rest? If you tell us to rest, we will rest. <laughs> oh, I laugh at us. Energy is what is needed. Yeah. I hate that. What? Oh, I'm getting peaceful. Me too. I'm covering chills right now myself. What, how can we give you energy? What, 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 what do you need? If you want to... He's standing on. So I said standing on. If you want us in bed, set off one of the devices on the bed. Come on, flash one of these and we'll all sit on the bed. I have no idea. But if you want, give me your camera. I can double camera it. You lie in bed with the spirit box. And I'll film you. Alright, he's in bed like you've asked. I mean, wow, it's all just so. Turn, turn the volume a little bit. There you go. Come 
Come on, George. Show it. I can show you. Come on, show us, George. Keep in mind, he has not set off any of these devices. And even when he got on, it did not set off. So, but they do go off. George. Hi, your turn. Your turn. All right, listen, George. Say the word sleep. Last sweep for now. Say the word sleep if you want. If you need us to go to sleep. I didn't like that. What? Settled something again. raped? Settled in rape. I, I, heard, settled. I heard something it's raped. Settled in rape. Okay, that's, that's probably me. you. That's you. That's you. That's you. Me. Is this my settled, settled in rape? I think something bad happened here. Right, well, we've done okay, so now. that's a good that's a good baseline start. So there's said a few key words, but it sounded like there's something intelligent in the room. Yeah. So we'll... Uh, We'll continue our experiments from this point uh, around what little evidence we have. EVPs. Yeah, we can do EVPs. EVPs. Let's do some EVPs, boys. Right. Yeah, so this one, got the hex come running, and this is frisky. Okay, try to say that. <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll, we'll put this, we'll put it on the sofa. Oh, water, she said. Water? Water. Wa water. What did you say? Water. Water. My granddad, water. Water. Right, okay. Alright, let's do this. I think we'll run one just normal, but I think uh, sometimes it's a good idea if we put it down, maybe in the doorway or whatever. We'll just sit down and chill and just shout things out. Yeah, we can do that, don't we? Okay. Alright. Different stuff. George or anybody else who might be in here, can you please make yourself known to us? Is that your stomach? No. That wasn't my stomach. Not mine, it came from over there. I've just eaten me. No, that came from over there. I shit you not, that wasn't me. I swear that wasn't me. It sounded like a rumble. It sounded, it sounded like, like it was on the left side of me. I promise you that wasn't me, I've just eaten. Well, I must have rumble. It sounded like it's a growl. It's passing through you. No? And it's a weird growl. I not feel anything either. Okay, uh, who just growled or made that very odd noise right next to us? If there's any spirits in the Adelphi, anywhere in the building at all, please hear my voice. Please come closer to my voice and communicate with us. We mean you no harm at all. We just want to make contact. Definitely hear that. The growl. Oh, yeah. Who's there? It's quiet. Cameras would have picked it up better. Oh, it's not as a... Yeah, a little bit. It's just a little whisper, yeah. a little faint whisper. Could I just said no or any, anything, really. It's, it's too... 
It's too hard to make out something yeah. not that clear, you know. I do have my Bluetooth speaker. Uh, I think I might have a cable we can plug into that to make it louder. Could do. Okay, well, we've done spare box, done the EVP recorder. Um, we could always do some more baseline stuff in this room mm -hmm. um, because what time are we are now? It's definitely gone one there. Half past one. Right, half, well, quarter past one. Quarter past um, one. If we wait till two o'clock and then we try the venture in the hallways. No, no, oh, I okay. venture in the hallways, do some paranormal. Maybe even go up to the top floor. Oh, there's yeah, there's the last thing we do. Last thing is Masonic Hall. Last thing is Masonic Hall. Yeah. Right. Okay, sounds like a plan. And that's because just in case we get kicked out, you know. yeah. Don't want to ruin the video for you guys. Yep. <laughs> it's actually kind of crazy how um, how big this place is. Oh boys, this place is officially big. You can see the car from there. Yeah. Yeah. It is a maze. There's another service elevator there. Right, so that's some other dead end. So let's go down this way. I wonder what these little elevators are for though. Where? We passed a few. Yeah, but there's quite a few. Abandoned. Yeah. I can feel the cold almost like there might be an entrance to the roof. These look a lot different, these rooms. Yeah, they do. It feels a lot different up here. Have you got the kitty? Yeah. Stuff is in here. 
Windows Box Let's go. Come on. Oh, no entry. Let's go. I know. Is it? I believe so. Oh, wait. It's just come up saying room. 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 It says room. Hexcom said room. Yeah, look, what are these sensors for? We're not supposed to be on this side. Yo, why is it dark? It's a different one. Come on. For fuck's sake. Why is somebody's cup of tea here? Fucking quiet. Well, I didn't know it was going to be fucking quiet, sir. Someone's left all the fucking crumpets. It's a balloon. Yo, why is there... The scissors? Sand... Oh, it's a balloon, it's a balloon. It's a balloon with Saudi. It's a balloon with Saudi. Uh, it said evening and data, but I think it's weird how the first thing it says is room, room. and we're looking at the rooms. Yeah. Interesting. This is our floor. The first floor. Oh, oh wait. How long that's been there though? Small thing? Yeah. It's been a long time. I've just left this for ages now. How did he even have like service people here? Bro, you saw the ectoplasm on our floor. Not really. That'd be funny right now. I'm trying not to offend you. This is a big grinding. You can tell the whole thing is out there. Just a check as we arrive at the uh, door to the third floor where we're staying, the most haunted floor. Alright, let's check it out. You will never guess Wait. what this just said. Wait, what, just said? what did it just say? Fucking hell, I've got goosebumps. Yeah. Like, I've got real bad goosebumps. Raped. <gasps> just like yes, the spirit box, box, bro. Just like the fuck. Just like the spirit box. box, it said numerous times. Like, you're about to go into horror. I mean, how many fucking times does it have to say rape on different devices but before we turn it off? It's like, why does it keep saying why that? Why it saying it on there? Why has it said it there? Why did it say it twice? In the spirit box session, and now uh, I've yeah. got goosebumps. Room, check room, evening. Oh. I think that's a TV. Well, this one. Oh, no, there's someone talking. Let's get in here. I just don't understand. I've never had a device there. Oh, Someone says, that's literally. Not, that's not a coincidence. He said it twice in this room, right? We we literally get to Deep. our. Deep, okay. We get to our door. As I'm about to put the key, I wasn't even filming, I was putting the key oh, in. Either. It, it, I heard it say something. I was like, looked at it, I was like, what? And How? It said exactly what it told us on the spirit box. Bro, that's not a coincidence. 
It's not a coincidence. There's some dark energy here. There's some dark no way it's a coincidence. No. I mean, could it be that it just so happened that we're in a room where that might have took place and maybe it's it. Like I said, you know, Alright, listen, I wouldn't normally do this, but I'm just gonna grab this. Turn that light off, James, please. So uh, before you do that, I will yeah. say, you know, we come here with the utmost respect. We come here to, to document and see how haunted these places are. Now, normally, like Andrew said, we will never do this because we're not here to see how cleanly it is, if it's clean, but you know, when when We've got this all over the floor. It's on the floor. It's on, it's on, desk. on, on the desks. desks. All right, turn off the light. I'll turn the black light just so you can truly see how bad it actually is. All right, guys. You can see that on your cameras. That is quite bad. Look how badly that glows. And then if you come up here, oh, it's there. You come up here, it's dripping. Yeah, what the, the fuck side. is this? I don't know, bro. Look on, the, look on the drawers, how much it's dripped over. Yeah, it's quite disturbing, actually, whatever that is. Wait a minute. You see that purple stain That's there? Blood. That purple stain should not... What, what colour does blood turn up again? Purple. That's blood. Wait, I can't see that properly on the camera. I can't see yeah, the, ca the cameras aren't... Wait. Seeing you. Seeing you. Wait, shine it again. But don't shine it directly on. Okay. Yeah, just about seeing it. Hold on. Pull it away. It's so faint. You yeah, have you can just about see the purple. The human eyes can see it, but it's, it, I can see it. Yeah, way. you can see it better there, like that. Yeah. So you can see the green. What looks like green goo everywhere. <laughs> but that purple is blood. Why? Why? Just turn the light on. Why do we have a hotel room covered in white stains and blood? Turn the light back on, well, James. Because the thing says it right there. Raped. And so did the spirit box, bro. It's like, it's, it's not even hidden. You can clearly see that there's some sort of seminal fluid, some human fluid there. Here on the floor, here on the desk. Gray. Gray, okay. Um, well. I think, I think now that that's done that, I would love to do an EVP in the corridor somewhere yeah. before we do head downstairs and try to get to the lower levels of the building okay. and the Masonic Hall. Yeah, yeah let's Definitely. do it. Okay. All right, hold on, go on, go on. Oh, I've just, I just typed in, because obviously we're getting a lot of stuff saying rape. Raped. So yeah. I've just typed in the name of the hotel, yeah. rape, CCTV appeal following sexual assault at a hotel in Liverpool. Oh. Detectives have, have issued CCTV images of two men who may have information that could assist inquiries following a, sexu a report of sexual assault at a hotel in Liverpool City Centre. On the 3rd of October, a man was sexually assaulted by two men inside a room in the Adelphi Hotel where he was also attacked and his mobile phone and cash were stolen. The victim suffered injuries to his face and was left very distressed after the attack. Detectives have conducted extensive CCTV inquiries at the hotel and issued CCTV images of two men. This is definitely the same hotel. Oh, of course it is. Look, it, it looks, like, it looks like our floor. floor. It looks like our floor. Look at the state of the car. So Google that. Clearly, clearly Google that, see if we can of, find out a floor. Clearly, a lot of dark stuff has happened. What, I mean, what would you do if it was this floor? Yeah. This room? That, this is absolutely crazy, guys. What I know is it says here in the early hours of a Tuesday morning. And it is 18 minutes it's past the early two hours of a Tuesday, on Tuesday morning. Tuesday morning. And we are getting stuff like rape coming through on not only the um, S box, but the, the heads come. I well. mean, Andrew made a very good point. Yeah. Obviously, the person didn't die. No. But with this place being haunted, the spirits, the, spirit the, the well inside here, would have seen it, yeah. and they're basically saying it, you know, it might yeah, distress yeah. them, you just don't know, it's, again, you know, you can't prove this kind of stuff, but there, it's any, very interesting. Is there any photos that, like, show them in, like, what, what rooms they're in? Ghost box. Ghost Do what box. it says. Yeah, get the spray box. Get this ghost box out now. Go on. Just Can you pull box. that antenna out for me, please? I only have one hand free. Suggested ghost box. Okay, ghost, ghost box. box. All right, if you're going to talk to us, now is the time. What did you see? Say rape if you saw a rape.
Come on. What are you trying to tell us? Florida. 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 <laughs> Let's try again. Focus. Focus. Yeah. That sounded kind of like it. Can you please tell us what you saw for this, this box right here? Give it a second. Let's get it. One last sweep. Come on. Last chance. What are you telling us? He was... He was Raped? It could have been raped. Or wrecked. Or wrecked. That's quite compelling, actually. Yeah, he was what? What was he? It's like he was trying to say it. Rape. Clear. Right. Raped. It just said raping. Right. Let me just put some of that stuff in Yeah, yeah, no, it's saying, it's saying the word, it's just a bit right, broken. Right, so up. the last thing it was, it was early hours of Tuesday morning, yeah? Yeah. Right, well, I've just found out, yeah, it was 10 minutes past 2 on a Tuesday morning. It's 2.20 a.m. now. So, so literally, 10 minutes ago when you got raped, so 10 literally minutes 10 minutes ago, yeah. ago when that said rape... It was the exact same time on this exact same day, day. that it happened. Well, no, no, well, I don't know about the exact same, same day, day, but the March same day of the week. Third. Yeah, same day of the week, same time. It's, it's, it's strange. I've got to admit that it's strange. Yeah. we got to do some EVPs in the corridor. Well, I'm going to tell I you now, that it. spirit box definitely tried to say raped multiple times. Yeah. It really did. Now, spirit but I just box. don't understand why would this, why are they so compelled to tell us about this? Mm -hmm. why, why is this so important when they could be telling us anything else? It's just bad energy, man. I mean... Something horrible that happened, and negativity breeds more negativity in the end. Have you guys even looked if anyone's died in the Adelphi Britannia Hotel before? Um, no. I am positive that we'll be have. back in a couple minutes. I'm sorry because James was just reading out saying two lads, 19 and 21, was taken into custody. Okay. Oh no, he said cells in like cell, and I am okay. I thought he said cells in the prison cell. All right. Oh. Okay, go on, Andrew. Roll with it. Right, so raw. I have not hit search okay. yet. Adelphia Britannica Hotel, Liverpool, death. Chloe Haynes, 21, was found dead under the heavy wooden wardrobe at the Britannica Adelphia Hotel in Liverpool after a night out in the city, 15th of June, 2023. That was just last oh, year. Oh, damn. That that's was fresh. fresh. Last oh, year. That's, that's like, what, eight months ago? Damn, that's fresh. That is too Last fresh. year. Yeah. Um, right, that is going to be... And that is going to be the main source at the moment. So not only 11 months ago, there was a rape, potentially, in this very room of a man by two males, but eight months ago, there was a man. Oh, goodness. Well, Adelphi in court over drowning. The hotel denies two safety breaches, so a man is drowned here as well. Um, okay, so... So there's a lot more deaths than we thought. Yeah. Oh, goodness. Um, obviously, the most recent one is going to be turning up the most. But so lie. far, that's... What? Lie. It just said lie. It literally lie. just said a lie. Why, why was it a lie? Did, did they not drown? Was they murdered? Yeah. Oh, no. Now, Context. in 1941, Sir Jock Delves Broughton was found dead in one of the hotel suites. He committed suicide. Shit. There's going to be a lot. There's a pot of trial for a while. Oh, I'd have to click on it. Um, right, I'm gonna see. There's, some, a, there's a lot of. We've got to. There's got to be a list somewhere. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do some research quickly and so find a list. So, um, you know, me and the boys have been doing a little bit more research while we've been sat here, and I mean, I'm just seeing you know stuff like this constantly. Uh, you know, what I say? Trouble. Try and guess here. Demonic voices in Britain's most haunted hotel. Now, this is dubbed Britain's most haunted hotel, but. Um, I can't find much history on people who died prior to 1960, well, even in the 70s, 80s and stuff, but 
we got Raymond, who was 15, died in 1961. He died, he got crushed to death in the service elevator, the baggage room. Baggage room. Uh, an unknown lift whistler has been known to breathe down people's necks. Uh, n- no idea who he is. Same, there's an unknown female pickpocket, apparently, that you can stumble across. Uh, when confronted, she disappears. Uh, George, a 1930s looking guy in a tuxedo with uh, like a a strange moustache. He's seen at the end of people's beds, only here on the third floor that we're on. In 2006, uh, a young lad, 25, called Madhav, uh, died in the swimming pool. He drowned. In 2022, a woman, 22, died accidentally. They don't know how she died. Uh, and then there was a girl called Chloe, 21, in 2023, who died um, by getting crushed to death by one of the um, wardrobes in her hotel room. Um, it seems like, and, and that's just that was just me for, for five, ten minutes on Google. Um, it seems like there's been a hell of a lot of crime here. It's been dubbed the worst hotel in the UK. Uh, there was a crime spree that has ravaged this place throughout the past 10 years. In fact, last year it was named the UK's worst hotel, 11th year running. Um, there's been burglaries, rapes. There's been two rapes in the past 12 months, um, which is worrying. Oh, this place is... Um, it's something else uh, the energy that it must be giving off because of all this I think we uh, need to go back into the hallway do some more stuff go into the lift then go downstairs um, yeah, I think this is probably it's probably going to take more than one night to come up with a, a true score but I will score it at the end of the night uh, will this require a revisit and a rescoring potentially Yeah, it was definitely this floor. Have we got the hex cover? Yeah, the picture, the picture that was um, taken of the CCTV was definitely this floor. Oh, I don't know what I said. Hex car. So just turn it on. Oh, that's a blue. Let's see what it is. That's in the room, but yeah, no, I don't know if there's any light going through or might. Graveyard. I mean, kind of is. A lot of people are I know, there's a camera. Yeah, we're going to have to go that way to avoid being seen. We should get down to the first floor about it. Yeah, but we're in, we're in the most haunted floor. Let's do an EVP here. Yeah, of course. The more I read about this place. Really? It just said really? It says really? Yeah. Got a weird, got a weird vibe here. Just got really chilly down here. I get a slight head change. Yeah, you know, I got a, I got a head change. This is a weird sort of thing. Like I was expecting to see someone here. Yeah. yeah. That's a feeling. Yeah. yeah. Right. You guys want me to do an EVP then? Yeah. Just see what happens. Very quiet. Hello. I've heard about what's happened to you here. Whoever can communicate with us, please come forward and talk in the device in my hand. Were you raped here? Did you die here? Did you kill yourself here? What happened? Are you with us now? I know there's been a lot of accidental deaths here and murders. Some that we can't even find online. Please, if you can, come forward and say your name into that device so we can address you properly. That's one minute. What was that before you started speaking? There's like whispers. There's background whispers.
Nothing quite yet. It does sound it does sound like there's like faintest whispers, like the spirits are just trying to make themselves known, but this is not all that far. Other than some, like the faintest uh, sound of this one. I honestly think that our best bet is to go back now to where <coughs> our room is. Because that. Oh, what's. Oh, fuck this mother. Sorry, sorry. Fuck. So, yeah. so, say what? No. no. It has just disappeared into Philly. Plant. That's where we first started talking. It was a long time ago. Yeah, shit, yeah, shit me up then. Yeah, that was pr proper scary. It's the first person we've seen while we've been here. That's, yeah, the, that's the thing. It's getting us, though, the first actual human we see. We hope the shit's happening. That's how big this place is, though. It's like. Okay, listen. I'm not being overly dramatic. I could have sworn I just saw a shadow move on that staircase. Like, maybe it was a reflection when or something, but it literally looked like it. I could have been there, boy, back in the room. No, that's that echoes from down there. Density. Density. That was a bit weird, wasn't it? Yeah. Just a loud knock after I brought up the shadow. If there's someone out there, can you please make a noise or a bang for us? I don't want to sound like I'm saying this for camera purposes, but I feel weird here. I this section in particular. I it was warm down there. And then as we come, just after this door. Yeah, came yeah but come. that could, because inside there is a lot colder than in here. I yeah, can't, I've got to think about it logically. It, it was a very sudden drop in temperature. No, what, I, right there, what I felt is when I came from, when I came from here, and as I got to here, no, as I got to here, I got this. Something keeps banging. Here. No, no. As I got to here, I felt like no. I'm stood here and I feel like I'm gonna see someone. If I pop, if I, that's just reset itself. Interesting. If I pop myself out, I feel like, oh, I'm gonna see someone. That's how I feel when I, close, when I get to here, that's the feeling you get, like something, something is there. Well, as I was walking through here, as I got to like here, my body just, changed in temperature and then as soon as I walked back here then again as I stood back here I got like my, my hair stuck up on the back of my neck. I think the temperature thing can be explained by it being a lot colder through that door yeah, that because there's open windows. The temperature that when I walked back here then when, I mean, when it took to do that wasn't a, a feeling of well, temperature. whatever it is whatever it is it's something around here something in this area now we need to find out why, why is the third floor meant to be the most haunted? What makes it, what, there's got to be reasons why people think it's haunted. Where is they seeing these apparitions? Is it in this section? All right, I'm going on Google, hang on. Yeah. I reckon we sit down here. Just let's sit down on the floor and, and listen and, and uh, try and do some more research. Well, listen, because there's been bangs going on. city centre now granted the building is massive and dense and, old. and potentially that is restricting signal but it's just strange to be in such a modern city and not have signal in a building reported falling violently ill um, feeling watched and seeing an apparition appear by the edge of their bed so this is the only floor where an apparition apparently appears by the bed which right. I think this is the most haunted and keep in mind, this is just the third floor. 
If you look up online, they claim that they see uh, Captain Edward Smith in the Grand Hall walking down the staircase, downstairs in the Grand Hall. Right. This all this next to the Masonic Club. It's also abbreviated, it's actually designed by the same architect that designed the Titanic. Yeah. And you're supposed to see the captain of the Titanic. Well, I think they remodelled some of this area in 1912 to resemble the Titanic, because that was the year it sank. Yeah. So, I mean, if, if this is the most haunted floor as far as guests staying, but there's there's ghosts that wander around this entire property. We are literally in a catacomb, in a maze of apparitions, apparently. Okay, so, don't forget, there is meant to be some kind of unknown... God, look at that. What the hell is... This place is such a dive. There's meant to be an unknown spirit in the lift. Oh, the bloody camera lens is on there. Doors are closing. Right, so, apparently, there's a spirit in the lift that breathes down people's necks. Uh, Taps on the shoulder. Fucking hell, this is going fast, isn't it? I thought the door was open in the garden. They said open in the middle, I took the garden. Fucking hell, this lift, I don't like that lift. It's alright, we got here safely. Oh, Jesus. Well, the lift obviously isn't haunted at this exact moment. Nothing's happened, but. Doors open. We got it. It's quarter past three in the morning. I'm sat in the ballroom. Someone over there snoring. Very strange feeling. Maybe it's the ambiance, the piano, the outdated furniture. Someone snoring over there. Second. There's someone snoring over there. Swear. That's all fair. What's that music? I don't know, but there's someone snoring over there. That's all fair. Oh, there's. Yeah, now's the time the security's out of their post. Let's go. Right, go on. Follow me. Oh, it is crazy, isn't it? I'm excited to get Why the why? The lights just flickered. The lights just flickered. Let's turn the spirit boxes on. Look the. Uh, you got some. Be careful because the lights are on. There's a camera on behind us. This is definitely not the way. It's a camera's in there. 
I remember the door was the one I tried and it was locked. We gotta find a way around. There's the back way. The door is technically over there. What about for you? Come on. We are. Mm. No, it's a kitchen. Right, we need to get out of here then. Camera well, let's get out of here. Fountain. So we're back in living quarters. Yeah. Walton. King King at uh, Kingston and Formby. Why is that is outside? I think it's there's already lights in there. I don't know if it's because motion sensors set them off. Look at that thing. Look, look, look at the buttons. That's 1,000% like a service. I don't know, obviously, yeah. Yeah. Oh, 
What's out there? Oh, it's the original entrance. Don't, I won't open them doors. Hey, don't open. Hey, don't Andrew, open. Andrew. There's the security car there. Yeah, exactly. It's probably okay, fuck it. it's probably all alarmed. The doors. Try this. Let's try and find the side of that. The door handle doesn't even work. We have a short period amount of time here. Let's do it. A little girl's headband. A little girl's headband? No, that's oh, messed up. Why would it be a little girl's headband? And a beer opener. Why would it be a little girl's headband in here? Exploring to find it. Now, what do we do? We're ghost hunters, remember? I thought I went full explore mode for a bit there. Oh man, I've never been so happy. About Should we sit here and do a ghost hunt? Uh, I'm a bit funny about sitting in those chairs. No, I've, I've done it. I've done the whole spare box. Oh, uh, well, you know, I'm, I'm going to sit here instead. Can we cut cameras for a second and do some photos before we get kicked out? Yeah. Because you, this is your one and only opportunity to get a photo in a throne, a Freemasons area, with the checkerboard mat and everything here. This is your like one and only shot. Right, Andrew, what have you found out about lodge number 32? I have literally just looked at lodge 32 like it's on that pedestal right there. So it says, welcome to Lodge 32, St. George's Lodge of Harmony, number 32, is one of the oldest Masonic lodges in the world. It has met in Liverpool, England, continually since 1755. We hope to introduce you to our history and traditions. Now that's just, uh, 
St. George's Lodge of Harmony, number 32. It's number on a register of the United Grand Lodge of England. It has an extraordinary history from probably quite humble beginnings. It rose in the 19th century in particular, become one of the most eminent lodges in the country. Its members have included merchants, lawyers, landowners, farmers, peers, politicians, um, academics, doctors, and more recently also young men involved in the modern cyber world. I mean, we are some young men in the modern cyber world, to be fair. That's true. It is met and was founded in public houses, Liverpool's grandest hotels and clubs, which we're in right now. And on one memorable occasion, a fish and chip shop. <laughs> is this the no troll website? No, it's not. It's real. The year of their foundation was 1755 in Liverpool. It was a small port growing fast, established by Royal Charter in 1207, and blessed with a tidal sheltered and deep pool just off the Irish Sea. The location developed gradually over the ensuing centuries until it was intentionally important by the important by the 18th century, in which time the population increased from its medieval figure of 6,000 to 77,000. All right, there's a long history of this. <sighs> Lodges regard the ritual they perform in their lodge rooms as work. It certainly calls upon the energies and memories of the members and their participants in the making and advancing of candidates through their degrees. The ceremonies are serious and meaningful, as well as enjoyable and fulfilling. But after work, the lodge members will close their lodge, put down their tools, and relax, usually at a substantial dinner where fun and good fellowship are shared and the events of the evening celebrated. And so it is in 32, except that our tradition blurred the distinction between labor and refreshment. So basically, this, this lodge we're in right now is one of the oldest Freemason lodges in England. 17, what was it, in the 1700s it was created. And they still practice today, 1755, that's what it was. And we're sat here in their meeting hall right now. Yeah. I mean, I would, thought, I would have thought it was bigger or they've had more. Like, Bro, it doesn't look like they have that many members. It must be such a rarity to be part of this lodge because there's only 15, no, probably 20 seats maximum in here. And we're sat in two of them that have a white table for us. So, so, not only do we have a hotel that unusual deaths, murders happen, crime waves, uh, many people have died, but you also have Freemasons summoning stuff here. Yeah. You know, what they call work. Doing where rituals or work. Yeah. yeah. So no wonder the hotel's fucked. This hotel is completely fucked, bro. Yeah. It, 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 this is bad juju, every every sense of the word. Um. So what do we do? Do, do you want to do a ghost on here? Yeah, a little bit. Okay. Oh, we'd be idiots if we didn't. And we'd be letting down our audience if we didn't. All right, okay, let's get some bits out All right, come on, let's get some shit so, like, ready. Okay, well, in the middle of the rug. Let's go. Major is giving us... Seven. Saturn. Saturn. What's it say? Saturn. They didn't watch anything to do with space, did they? Saturn. What? Look at my fucking hand, bro. That's the sign of Saturn. Saturn is Satan worship. Saturn is Satan. And it just said Saturn in the Freemasons Hall. And everyone theorizes they might be doing that in these sort of lodges. Saturn is Satan worship. Now, I don't worship Satan, obviously, but I am very close to the dark path, you know? Anyway, just screw it. Hello? Are there any negative entities that have been summoned in these rituals here in this Freemason Hall? It's a secret society that nobody knows enough about, so we don't actually know. If you want to come forward and tell us the truth of what goes on in these rituals, K2's gone off. Tell us, what is with these checkerboards? What is with these stars of David on the floor? What is with these grand rituals you form in here? All the rumors that you rule the world. Is there anybody here willing to speak to us? Or are you so secretive that you cannot communicate? Maybe after death, you now want to come forward and talk to us. Now's your chance. I doubt this will ever happen again. By the way, K2 
can I ask you, do you know what the hell that's supposed to be? Like? A heat lamp. Heat lamp, yeah. It's a what? Heat lamp. It's a heat lamp. Weird. Okay. Sounds like it says get out there. Get out there now. Sounds like get out there now. Can you see anybody off that as well? Should we get out of here now? You probably should if we don't want to get killed, you know. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. These people yeah. suppose they rule the world. Oh no. Are there cameras in here? Yeah, right behind you. Yeah. Oh shit, why are you telling me about the I told you since we walked in, but you two were too fascinated. Well, I've been here once before, I'm not scared. I'm not scared. Alright, well listen, if you guys are uncomfortable, I will happily follow and abide with you and suggest that we may dug a hole a bit too deep on this one. I'm not gonna lie, but the rumors are true. I told you there was a thing in here. Which? 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 Shut the fuck up when we came in here and listened to him. Because if I didn't know there were cameras there, there's no chance I would have sat inside. Hence the reason why I was sat there saying it's bad ideas. Yeah, maybe you should have double told us. Well, I'm not going to watch that. You guys find it weird that one of those lamps are just tilted down. It's yeah. not the lamp, mate. What, what the hell is that big thing that stood up next to it? That's a spear, bro. That's a spear. Why is this down? <gasps> bro, that's fucked. That's so fucked. Wow. That's not a light bulb in there. What is it? It's a candle. A real candle? It's a fucking candle, bro. Sc stuck to the fucking thing. What's this though? That's a spear, man. We must be using rituals to probably have put a flag on it or something, but that's a spear. There's another spear there. Yeah, it's true. Like, boys, I'm not gonna lie, yeah, I think we have maybe, well, we, yeah, maybe we've got a spear or nothing. I don't even want to stay in this hotel room right now, because I don't feel weird. Right, right. do you guys have all the equipment then? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, let's see. Alright, let's sneak out of here. Quiet. Oh, let's have a look behind that first. There is an organ. Oh, no. I've just got a feeling I'm going to open the curtains and there's going to be a guy stuck there in the fucking room. What the hell? Bro, go in there. Go, I want to see. I want to see. What's this? What's this? What's this? Listen, I'm just pulling that torch out. Oh, look at all the spears. Bro, they have a collection of spears. Holy what shit. What are they doing with spears? And there's crosses in here. And in Oregon. <coughs> oh my god. That? Oh my god, what the hell did you just find, bro? Now that is something. Look at the, look at the symbols above the cross and skull. The skull and bones, sorry. The skull and bones sign. Bro, that's the skull and bones, like the secret fucking society hold that on, George hold on, Bush and all them were in. Hold it up, hold it up. Hold it from the secret society, well, skull and bones. Look at the bones. picture, look at the picture of them all. Yeah. Just look there in the robes worshipping. Bro, we're not supposed to be here, man. Boy, boy, boys, boys, that's Shh. not... That is not all of it. Calm down. Careful, be so careful. Because that's a glass frame about the Be careful, be careful. Plastic. What does it say? I don't know, hold the camera. Oh my god, okay, alright, but you're, you're gonna need light. Dan, do you have a free hand? Yeah. Okay, okay. Just make it quick. Flip it around. To all and every our night worshipful, worshipful, and loving brethren. Albert Edward Pratt, the Prince Edward of, Wales. of Wales, King of Wales. S Knight of the Most of the Noble Order, Order of the Carter. Grand Master, the most ancient and honourable fraternity of free and accepted Masons of England, send greetings 
This is, oh Why does it say cancelled at the top left? I, can't, I don't know. 12th of March 2003. Bro. Yeah, but look at the symbol behind the cancel thing. Yeah, well. no, that's a proper, that's, that's a, a proper seal. Mark. It's a seal, yeah. England United Grand something. I can't believe we're actually filming top secret stuff. We're filming secret fucking society shit. I told you it was here and we found it. Did you want? Yeah, but I don't know how much more we should be looking at before, because if we get caught, what if they kill us? I'm not being dramatic either. They're known to kill people. Take take this. Come on, guys. Let's get out. We Maybe we should not stay the whole night and just kind of skedaddle now. Skedaddle. Oh, I agree. I'm going to words come from Andrew's mouth. Right. Right. Shh. Skedaddle. Shh. Go to our room. Just fuck it. Let's go to our room and just get our shit and go. Yeah. Alright, cheers, Ray. Oh, fuck, I used to hold that. Probably some of the ancient secrets in the fucking hotel. <laughs> fucking hell. Bruh, I, oh, told, I told you I'd take you on a good adventure. Oh, welcome to the Haunted Hotel series. This is a good start to it, isn't it? This is more than haunted, this. We just, we just got some really good documents on video. This is something that has to be released. I'm releasing it, I don't care. I did, not, I did not think we was going to go past that. Oh, we're, we're here already. That was incredible, bro. We were running around the undergrounds of this tunnel. We freaking cut, stumbled across ancient Freemason texts in a room and... Hauntings, oh my gosh. We went to our area with these people. All the rooms, all that stuff. Don't say that, it's not going to be anything. Can you imagine it's like a dark water in a circle? Or do just sit all the call Bro, that this is the most cursed hotel on earth, I swear. Not maybe not on earth, but in the UK, flat out, this is the most cursed hotel. So many deaths, hauntings, and then that evil maybe not evil, I don't know, Freemason Lodge. I know, I know. This is incredible. We oh, all we all um, found it. Right, okay, okay, let me think here, let me this, think here. This, it's what are you thinking about? I'm what are you worried about? No, I'm thinking what scales I'm going to give this. What do I rate? Oh, yeah, first? yeah, you got to rate your hotel. Don't you? All right, well, listen, Damn. if you want to see Dan's rating, it's going to be on his video, but I'm going to cut camera in a second and do an outro for you guys. But he's he's rating these. I'm going to have I'm to just, sit down on my yeah. table, and I'm going to have to think about this. So as you can see, I had to bust out Pokemon to try and concentrate, trying to come up with a perfect score. The Adelphi Hotel has proven to be more than expected, but is it worse than I thought it was going to be? I mean, after reading online, I, I was picturing us getting dragged down the corridors, thrown out of bed. So was it really as haunted as we all thought it was going to be? For the history, I'm going to give it probably a four a four out of five for the haunted evidence it was great it wasn't amazing but still i'll give it a four out of five so in total we're gonna rank it on the terramia eight out of ten for the britannia adelphi hotel here in liverpool now don't forget this series is going to be places that you can go and stay now there is an added warning for this one not only do you have to worry about the haunted stuff going on here but Carl on the second episode almost got mugged outside. There is countless stabbings, countless attacks. There's people wandering around who shouldn't be in the hotel. There's no true security on the door. There's only a couple of staff members working at night. Uh, we got offered numerous amounts of drugs. Uh, we got followed to our hotel room in the second episode. Would I advise people to stay here? I've got to say no. But 
Again, be it as you may. Take it at your own risk. If you will stay here, let me know how it gets on.